Uh, it's a crucial trust vote in the Tamil Nadu Assembly today and the stage is set for Chief Minister Edapadi Palaniswamy, a Shashikala loyalist as well as a Jayalalata loyalist to prove his camp's majority in the House today. It's a trust vote after nearly 30 years. MLAs who support Shashikala have left the resort in Kovatur about 80 kilometers from Chennai for the trust vote. Now, while Palaniswamy has a support of 122 MLAs as of now, uh, with two more MLAs defecting in the last uh, 24 hours. Uh, rival O Pani Selvam has uh, only hope for a miracle as the numbers are stacked up against him. Let's get that uh, pie chart up at this moment. And he just has 11 MLAs supporting him. The opposition DMK with its 89 MLAs has said it will vote against E. Palaniswamy. The halfway mark is uh, 117. The Congress has not revealed how it will be voting. Meanwhile, sources have also told NDTV that Shashikala's nephew, Dinakaran, who is now the Deputy General Secretary of AIDMK's name, was also proposed for a cabinet post. But the governor said with cases pending against him, he cannot give his immediate approval. Today, the kind of groundswell of support that Mr. OPS has is... Uh, Amazing. We don't think we are in single digit, number one. Number two, uh, we uh, believe that uh, 135 people should vote for us. The legacy of Purachi Talever and Purachi Talevi Amma rests on the able shoulders of Mr. OPS. And that's something everybody knows. Sam Daniel now joins us from outside the assembly where that crucial tr uh, trust vote will take place today. And Smita is joining us from the Jaya Memorial where uh, the MLAs are headed. Sam, first to you. This is, of course, a crucial trust vote uh, to finally put an end to the crisis in Tamil Nadu. But we've already seen in the last 24 hours a slight setback for Palaniswamy with two uh, people leaving his camp. But what are the numbers really looking at uh, this morning? It seems as of now... Palaniswamy is safe. At the moment, it appears that Palaniswamy is quite safe, uh, by Ravi. He requires a minimum of 117 votes to establish a simple majority. And at the moment, uh, the party uh, has 122 MLAs, although they have suffered a slight setback over the last 24 hours. Yesterday, the former DGP and MLA Natraj said he would vote against the EPS uh, government in the trust vote uh, in sync with the public mood in Chennai. And this morning, another MLA, Arun Kumar, who represents the Coimbatore North Assembly constituency, who was put up, who was housed in the resort uh, outside Chennai, has managed to escape. He has returned to his home turf in Coimbatore, which means he will not be in the assembly to vote. And he says he has taken this decision in uh, reflecting the public mood and he's not really worried about uh, the repercussions including his disqualification under the anti-defection law and he says he doesn't like the way Sasikala camp is functioning and trying to take over the party and the government in his own words. So at the moment a very razor thin difference they have but uh, the other camp the OPS camp although they have just 11 MLA's on record they hope that on the floor of the house, the, many of their supporters in the Sazikala camp would uh, switch sides and uh, vote. Two options, even if five people vote against, the government will not get a majority. But these MLAs will be disqualified. But they have, they're banking on two options. One is they have challenged the decision to appoint Sazikala as the interim general secretary in the party so that uh, they will have some legal way. To, uh, to, to escape the anti-defection law. And they also hope that the number of people if it, who vote against the EPS government exceeds the two-third numbers of their total strength, then the anti-defection law will not apply. So they are hoping against hope that they have the numbers, but the ruling AIADMK is extremely confident that they have at least five MLAs in addition to the minimum majority required. But they also say, otherwise also they have another option to win the trust vote. Uh, if they have more than half the numbers of MLAs present in the House, then again they, 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 they win this trust vote. So in numbers, according to numbers, they are hopeful that they have five more. And since Karnanandi will not be coming here, uh, the Speaker will not be voting, they are working out the other option as well. They are confident that there will be more than 50% of the members present in the House for voting.